Family Theater presents Marjorie Steele, Chuck Connors, and Charles Bronson. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents You Remind Me of Me, starring Chuck Connors and Charles Brunson. And now, here is your hostess, Marjorie Steele. Thank you, Tony Lafrano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family. And now to our transcribed drama, You Remind Me of Me, starring Chuck Connors as Bill and Charles Bronson as Bertie. Just about 40 seconds, I think. Yes, just about 40 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, left in this, which is the ninth round of the scheduled ten-rounder between heavyweights Wild Bill Callen and Art Fuller, sometimes known as Dancing Art Fuller. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you I've never seen a contest like this one. There's been a complete change in Callen. Callen, you remember, is the man has been favored to win this fight. Uh, wait a minute. He did it again. And that's at least the sixth time, ladies and gentlemen, Fuller fainted toward the head of Talon, and then he moved in with a rain of blows to Wild Bill's midsection. Right now, Talon is holding on now. He's just holding on as if his life depends on it. No, they're apart now. It, Talon just threw a left, and another left at the head of Fuller, but Dancing Art is moving in anyway. Ooh, Talon just took a jarring left. And now a right over the heart, and a left to the midsection. This could be the end of the fight. Now Callan's trying to tie up Fuller again. Dancing Art's not having any. And again, Fuller throws a right to Callan's head. It's not even close, ladies and gentlemen. Wild Bill is reacting almost like he's hit. All guarding of anything but his head is forgotten. He's backing away now. He's covering. And it's a right and a left to Callan's middle. And another right. And, and there's the bell ending round nine. Both fighters moving toward their respective corners. Callan, it would seem, in some confusion. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a clean contest all the way. There are no marks on either of these boys' reputations. But nevertheless, there's been something wrong with this fight. Or to be more accurate, something is wrong with the man who was rated to win this fight by a knockout. And I do mean Wild Bill Callan. Now, at the beginning of the fight, he appeared to be in top condition. During the weigh-ins this morning, he seemed to me to be full of confidence. In fact, he seemed to be looking forward to this bout tonight as just another rung in the ladder. But something is definitely wrong. From the beginning of the fight, Callan, who was usually regarded as an aggressive fighter, always in there, always pushing, has been on the defensive. And he's not been defending too well against that rain of body blows that Dancing Artful has been dealing out. In fact, from my position here at ringside, I've noticed several times during these last few rounds when Dancing Art Fuller could have fought with... Well, with a good deal more efficiency. Of course, it might be that Fuller is just as surprised as I am, as everyone in this arena is tonight, I think, at Callan's change, or maybe... Maybe I should say Callan's loss of style. I see Callan's seconds are bending over him now. Got their heads close. They're talking fast. Now, I don't think Bill is hearing much of the advice. Seems to... Oh, there's the warning buzzer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few seconds, the tenth and final round of the main event of this evening, the scheduled ten-rounder between Wild Bill Callan and Dancing Art Fuller. And there's the bell coming out of their corners now. And they touch gloves, center of the ring. Fuller steps back. Oh, look out! Look out! Fuller hooked him with a left, a hard, clean, jarring left. Callan's covering up now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be it. Fuller is really going to it now. There's a left hook to the head of Callan. And a, and a right to the body. And, and a left. Another right. Another left and another right. Callan is down. One, While Bill Callan is down, ladies and gentlemen. 
And this Three. looks like it. I'm very much Four. afraid for Wild Bill. Five. Shaking his head now. Six. He's trying to get up, Seven. but he just can't Eight. seem to make it. Nine. Ten. And ten. There's the count. There's the count. That's just about it for Wild Bill Cap. The winner by a knockout, Art Dancing Art Fuller. I think you heard it off this microphone, ladies and gentlemen. The winner and a very popular win in the arena tonight is Dancing Art Fuller. Oh, oh, hiya, Bertie. Hey, you call a fight tonight. Yeah, I sure did. That dancing odd, he won. Yes, he did. That's why I'm here. Yeah, but this is Wild Bill's dressing room. A fooler won. Don't, don't you want to talk to Fooler? I don't know whether Fuller won or whether Callan lost, Bertie. Huh? Well, nah, never mind. Skip it. This is the door, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the door, right? Hey, you, you, you want to see him? Yeah. Well, uh... uh what, what is it, Bertie, huh? What? Uh... D don't don't tell him I'm out here. You, what? You, you know what I mean. Don't don't tell him you see me. Huh? Why not? He's, he's wild Billy. He's, he's mad at me. He's mad at you. Why? He just just is. Don't tell him I'm here. Okay, I won't tell him, Bertie. Uh, um, Mr. Milton. Yeah. While you're in there, uh, see if he's all right. I think he's all right. No, no. I, I mean all right. You know, like me. Uh, you know, I, I'm not all right. Oh, you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah. See, he, he took a lot of punches. Uh, will you do that for me? Yeah, Mr. Bertie, yeah, sure I will. Sure. Yeah, who's there? Ted Milton. Open the door, Helen. Honey. Open the door. All right. I'd just like to ask... Oh, Mrs. Kellen. Couldn't you come some other time, Mr. Milton? No, the name is Milton, Mrs. Kellen, with an M. Come on in, Ted. Thanks. Can't make him wait, baby. He's a big muck muck in the sports world. Got to let his readers and his radio audience know the scoop. Right, Ted? Yeah, that's about the size of it, I guess. Uh, Bertie out in the hall? <laughs> Told me not to tell you. He says you're mad at him. Only why anybody could be mad at that poor, punchy guy is beyond... Nobody's him. mad at him. Open the door, will you, Helen? Sure, Bill. Bertie? Come on, I know you're there. Uh, did you want something, Bill? Come on in here. You're... You're not mad at me anymore, huh? No, I'm not mad. And I want to say I'm sorry I popped off at you, okay? <laughs> sure, Bill, okay. There's no harm done, no harm, Bill. Honey, get me a ten out of my bill for, will you? Right. Yeah, now, you're all right, huh? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. In a lot of ways now, I'm all right. I've made up my mind I'm going to do what Helen wants. Hey, that's, that's real nice. Now, you let me hear from you. Now, don't forget. You won't forget your old friends, hey, huh? what's all this? Sure. You'll hear from me, Bertie. Here's the ten, honey. Yeah. Here. I want you to take this. Oh, no, no I don't want any money. Take it. It's just my way of saying thanks. Ah, no, no, I, I don't... Will you take it to make me feel better? Well, uh, if it's going to make you feel better... Okay. It will. All right, then I'll, I'll take it. And uh, thanks a lot. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, he finally got through to you, huh? Finally got it through my thick head. Boy, it's, it's been a long time, you know, since I outsmarted any, anybody. It's a long time. But, you know, I used to do that a lot. And er, nearly every fight, Mr. Milton here, he, he knows. He, oh, sure. He can remember me when I was real good. Oh, sure, sure I can, Bertie. You were tops. Yeah, you know, I was, I was real good. Uh, it seems for such a short time. Uh, such a long time ago, too, I... You know, I can't even remember. You know what I mean. Oh, look, hold it, Bertie. Listen, Callan, would you mind letting me in on all this? Uh, Bertie, I'll tell you what. You go out in the hall and wait for me. As soon as I rest up a little more, Helen and I will buy you a cup of coffee, okay? Fifteen minutes. Hey, wait. This time, I'll, I'll buy. I got money now, huh? Okay, you can buy it. Wait for us. Uh, how, how long did you say? About fifteen minutes. Right. Poor guy. All right, now will somebody please let me in on all this and tell me just what he did to rate a payoff? Well, I just don't see that it's any of your business, Mr. Milton. Well, 
Well, Mrs. Callan, maybe I'd better tell you a thing all or right, two. All right, all right. Now, everybody cool off. What do you mean, cool off, Easy, Callan. boy, easy. Easy, sure. You lost a fight out there so tonight. Oh, somebody's got to a... lose. Oh, is that your only comment? Well, what am I supposed to say? I, I got a moat in my eye, or, or the light's dimmed, or my foot slipped? Fuller's just a better man than I am, that's all. Oh, no, sir, no, that's not all. That looked bad out there. It doesn't look so good in here, either. What do you mean? Well, I come in here and find you trying to pay somebody for doing you a favor. Bertie? Well, how does it look? Huh? And then I see you taking it easy here. You're not particularly disturbed. Wasn't that fight supposed to be an important step in your career? Are you suggesting, Mr. Milton, there was something wrong? A payoff or something? Why, Bill would never do a thing like that. Why, the very idea is just... Well, it's not even worthy of comment. In fact, you've got a lot of nerve, Mr. Milton, coming in here and suggesting a thing like that. It's ridiculous. Oh, you're protesting too much, lady. You're overplaying the part. Bill should break you in two. For what? Didn't you hear the things he said? He as much as said... I know, I know. I mean, he's right. It does look bad. He comes in here and the only one here is my wife. No manager, no seconds. Where are they? Could he know I threw him out? He probably thinks they're out picking up winnings on bets I placed on Fuller. Oh, honey, look at it from his point of view. This looks bad and... It's going to look a lot worse after he hears what I've got to say. I don't see how it can. Okay, I'll show you. And this is for the record. This was my last fight. This was you? Uh Uh-huh. (laughs) All right, that figures. Last fight, why go away poor, huh? Oh, no, Ted. And did you even have that punch-drunk ex-pug, Bertie, placing a bet for you? hmm? Ted, you're going to push me too far. If you think you're being pushed now, buddy, wait till you see the morning papers. There were a lot of sports writers in that arena tonight. And if this fight looked as bad to them as it does to me, you'll quit fighting, all right, but it won't be any quiet retirement. It's going to be like lightning walking through a forest of tall trees, an awful lot of light and an awful lot of noise. So what? We can stand a lot of light. She's right, Ted. We're clean. One of the big sporting goods manufacturers offered me a job a couple of weeks ago. Pay's not bad, and it'll give me a chance for a home life, so I'm taking it. That's all there is to it. No, sir, it's not. Listen to me, Callan. You're a good fighter. You've got a lot of style, a lot of power. You can go places. And what's more, you know it. Why, just We've a couple of... We've had about enough, that's all. Sure, he could go places, but he'd wind up with his brain scrambled. Oh, that doesn't have to happen. I can name you a hundred top fighters came away clean as a whistle. And I can show you a thousand who didn't. Men like Bertie who go through life with a memory full of holidays. Not quite like Bertie, honey. If I tell you about Bertie, Ted, you can put that in your column and the people will understand. Maybe even let you, what do you call it, cop a lead or steal a march or something on the other sports writers. Yeah? All right, I'm listening. Well, it started when I first met him. Oh, maybe a month and a half ago. I was up at camp training for this fight. I was doing some early morning road work with my manager, Duke Goals, and his nose was really out of joint, mostly because I insisted on Helen being at camp with us. I remember we were coming down the road on the back three when we saw him. He was standing under a tree by the path, and it looked like he was waiting for us. All right. All right. Let's walk it a while. Uh, Who's this? Huh? Oh, no. That's all I need. One of those around the place. Who is he? His name's Bertie. I've seen him around. I, uh... Hello, soldier. I'm not a soldier. I'm, I'm a, 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 a fighter, you know, like you. Yeah? You're uh, uh, Wild Bill Callan, ain't you? That's what they call me. You know what? No, what? You know, you remind me of, uh, of, of me. Yeah? It, well, not now. I, I mean, you know, when I was in the pink. Hey, hey, can I walk along with you? Well, sure, I guess you... No! Are. Get off the farm. There's no room for you here. Oh, now, Duke. No! I let you have your own way about having your wife up here. I think I made a mistake in letting you go that far. I won't have any punch-drunk ex-pugs around here. Hey, wait, look, I'm not punchy, and I don't get many fights no more, but I'm I'm not punchy. Of course he isn't, Duke. What's the matter with you? Eh, you think I don't know? Look, this man's a fighter, and I think we should show him a little hospitality. A little down on your luck right now, old soldier? Uh, They they don't give me uh, many fights no more. Duke, I think we can find a place for this man, can't we? Find a place? You mean to have him around all the time? Are you out of your mind? Give him a job, Duke. Great Scott! Bill, I... 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 All right, all right, you ask for it. I'll do it. 
Now, if you gentlemen will pardon me, I'll go prepare a place for him. But you'll regret it, I promise you that. Uh, hey, you got a sweat worked up. You know, you know that's no good to stand still like this? You're earning your keep already. Now, don't pay no attention to what he said. You know what I mean about uh, being punchy, I mean? No, of course not. He your manager? Well, he tries to be, I guess. He, he don't want any punches around, you know, and it's for a good reason. He, that could be my job. I mean, keeping them away from you. Why doesn't he want them around? Well, it's, uh, it ain't no good for a, a young fighter, you know, like you, like not letting sweat dry on you. You, you gotta be careful. Always gotta be careful. Uh, what were we talking about? The punchies? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It, it, now, if a fighter sees him around, he begins to think, you know? Uh, thinking it could happen to him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do they call you? A birdie. Birdie? Yeah, they... That's because some... They think, I, like... Like your manager thinks that, that I hear birds sing, you know? Well, you know what I... You know, they sing when they ain't singing. But that's not the reason it's... The reason is because I, I, I just got one song to sing. Hey, I, I smell bacon and eggs. <laughs> yeah, we're not far from the house now. You'll be tasting them before long. You know, you're, you're a good man, Wild Bill. I won't uh, forget what you're doing for me. That's nothing, Bertie. No, no, I, I mean that. I won't forget that. I'm going to pay you back. You see if I don't. How'll you do it? Well, maybe I'll get a fight with a, a big person and I can split with you. Or, or maybe better, maybe, maybe I'll sing you my song. Bertie stayed on at the training camp, and nearly every day I'd hear from my manager about it. Duke was afraid of him, and for a while so was Helen. But little by little she warmed up to him, as if they shared some secret joke. And then she started singing her old song. Oh, Bill, I wish you had a normal job. That we could get out of this, well, this pseudo-existence. Oh, honey, are we going to go into that again? Well, I don't mean to, but... Well, look, we're living all right, aren't we? Don't I make a good living for you? Yes, but there's more to life than money. There's more to living than we see. Now, look, baby, after the fuller fight, we'll... Oh, don't say it. I know what's going to happen. You'll make a big promise to take time off. But it won't happen. Well, what would you have me do? What am I trained for but fighting? But the danger... Danger? Men die in the ring. Oh, Helen, don't you think you're being... Or they wind up like Pavlov's dogs, trained to react to bells just like beasts. And for what? So people can go watch them try to hurt each other. It's a sport, Helen, like football or anything else. People go to watch a contest, a great sport. Yeah, all right, maybe it is. But maybe you should know when you're too old for the punishment of this sport. Bill, the danger... Is largely in your imagination. Now, don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to me. I pray every night you're right. Let's just enjoy the evening, huh? All right, I'm sorry I started all this. It's all right. Bill. Yeah? Remember that word Bertie couldn't pronounce? Huh? The word he asked me to look up about what happened to him? Oh, yeah. Well, I finally got around to looking it up. It was patechial. It's a kind of hemorrhage resulting from repeated heavy blows to the head. I didn't tell him, but it means the same as punch drunk, according to the dictionary. Now, honey... I didn't mean anything by it. Don't think that. I just thought you'd be interested. In the weeks that followed, I think maybe God could have pulled my guardian angel off the job at any time, and Bertie would have been there to fill in. He was always around. People would come to watch me spar, but he wouldn't pay them a bit of attention. He'd just stand by. And almost always with a spare head protector. That's enough for today, Bill. Right. Hey, you look good, well, Bill. You know, you did, you did a real good job in there. Thanks, Bertie. Not even breathing hard. You got good wind. 
Don't you get tired of carrying that head protector around? You can never tell, you know, when a strap is going to break and, and you're going to want one. That's why I carried it. I wish I had had one, had him when I was uh, fighting before. Oh, I don't know. These things have been available for a long time. Yeah, but not this good. Well, maybe not. Hey, I, I was watching you, Bill. You don't uh, keep your guard high in the... You, you, you got to keep it high here. Oh, I don't know. They didn't tag me too many times. Y you got to guard your head. Now, you remember that you got to guard your head. The rest of you, they can, they can patch up pretty good, but not the head. You got to keep that guard up. How is it, Bertie? I mean, if they hurt your head. Uh, for some, they say it can be bad. But even me, uh, I, uh, I was hurt, you know, a little, you know. You told me. Sometimes you, you, you forget things, and mostly I, I guess that, that's the way it is with me. What do you forget? Oh, lots of things. I, I, uh, I can remember uh, some of the good things that, that happened to me, you know, when I was on top, but not too many, you know. Yeah, I think I do. You see, you see Bill, what, what happens is I, uh, it's, well, it's like a sound in the night. You wake up, and then you're not sure you really heard it. I can remember uh, uh, lots of names. There's a Corbett and uh, Jeffries, Tani and uh, uh, Schmeling. But, but I, I, can't, I can't remember whether I fought them or not. And oh, I, I had a wife once. And she had, oh, she had hair I, that was like uh, gold. I think her name, her name was... Uh, Oh, I don't know. I, I, I can't remember. Hey, Bill. Yeah? Bill, you gotta keep that guard up. Now, will you promise me? Sure, I will. I promise, Bertie. And I kept the promise. The Duke shouted at me, and a couple of times the training camp crowd even laughed, but I kept the promise. Not because I meant to, but because I couldn't shake Bertie out of my mind. I'd think of the things he said, and Bertie never said anything just once. You remind me of me. You're gonna be a great fighter, just like me. But remember, you keep your guard high. They can patch up the, the rest pretty good, but, but not the head. Now, you watch your head. When things happen to you, it's, it's like a, a sound in the night. You wake up not sure you really heard it. I, I don't know how it might happen to you with me. Now, I took a, a solid punch and I, I shook my head, trying to come out all the way, you know, to clear it, but I never came out. It never cleared. Now, that's it, Bill. Either he goes or I go. We got a little more than a week left before the fight. I'm not going to stay here and see him ruin you completely. So take your choice. He goes or I do. Oh, maybe you're right, Duke. Maybe you're right. All right. You going to tell him? Yeah, I'll tell him. I can do it. I'll tell him. I didn't see Bertie again till the night of the fight, and I guess you could say I was in pretty fair shape. That is, I was till I saw Bertie in an aisle seat near my corner while I was on my way to the ring. He had the head protector in his lap. I stopped to say hello. Wish me luck, Bertie. How'd you know my name? Know your name? Oh, hey, you went dancing on fooling? It's me, Bill Callan. We were together for almost five weeks. Yeah, I never seen you before in my whole life. Yeah, sure you have. I'm the. Uh, I'm just like the rest of these people. I I come to watch one of these fighters get knocked silly. It, it looks like you're punchy already. All right, Bertie. All right. Hey, hey, wait a minute, w Wild Bill. Wait. Let go of my robe. Hey, wait. Uh, uh, l let me tell you something. Because you've been good to me, and because you remind me of me. Now. It's, it's my song. Let go of me. Now, get out of the fight game, Wild Bill. Go ahead, get out now while you still got the clear head. While you're, you're young enough for something else. Do what your wife wants. Let go of me, you punch drunk bum or so help me. All right, all right, I'm punchy, Wild Bill. Now, don't be like me. If you got to go in that ring, you just remember what you promised. Keep, 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 keep your guard high. 
Yeah, that's my song, Bill. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. I saw him sitting there for the whole fight, watching me like a hawk. And all the time holding that head protector in his lap. I couldn't get him out of my sight or out of my mind. So I guess you could say I was just keeping the promise I made to him. Maybe I didn't really mean to, but I kept it. Uh Uh-huh. And then for squeezing you out as a possible title contender, you tip him ten bucks. I'd like to tip him a thousand. Maybe you don't get it, Ted. He was repaying a debt in a pretty big way. He was giving the greatest thing he had to give. The benefit of his experience. A great gift? Well, I've been at it almost seven years now, Ted. That's enough. More than enough. Another year you could go for the title. Next time you're around the gym, Ted, talk to the older fighters. The ones who don't get matched much anymore. See how many caught when they couldn't shake off. I don't think the risk is worth the title. And now, if you'll excuse me, my wife and I have a date with a friend. This is Marjorie Steele again. If you were to make a trip to some other village or town, you'd expect to find it altogether different from your own hometown. But then you'd find any community different from your own. You see, in a way, they're like people. Each town or village has a personality of its own, and each has customs slightly different from those of other towns, and even those which might be only a few miles away. And of course, the greater the distance there is between communities, the greater will be the contrast in customs. But no matter how far you travel, in every community you'll find one thing which is in common to all communities. In Berlin, St. Lo, in Boston, or in Keokuk, or Gander, in a fishing village, on the Irish Sea, or with a nomadic tribe in the Sierra, you'll find the people believe in and acknowledge their dependence on God. And in some of the older settlements, you'll find a traditional custom observed daily. It's the practice family theater recommends each week daily family prayer. Through family prayer, you assure yourself of God's continued love and his continued blessings. And praying together as a family assures you of something else, too. For the family that prays together stays together. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood, Family Theater has brought you transcribed You Remind Me of Me, starring Charles Bronson and Chuck Connors. Marjorie Steele was your hostess. Others in our cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Alice Backus, and Leo Curley. The script was written and directed for Family Theater by Robert Hugh O'Sullivan, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman. This series of Family Theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of program by the Mutual Network, which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to be with us next week when family theater will present Turn On the Lights, starring John Lund. Marshall Thompson will be your host. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is Mutual, the radio network for all America.